but it is what it is, man. It's a family business. And, uh, Bruce, you're out of the fucking family. How does it feel? Hey, feels great. I'm in your family now. You can't get rid of me. So fuck you. <laughs> uh, any- I'm, I'm part of the first family now. So there you go. Anything else you, you want to kind of, uh, address or put a bow on here because it feels like we're kind of per, this is like your wrestling confessional right now. Yeah. It, you know, it kind of is, it, it's funny to be painted with the, with the drug brush and, and I probably am as much to blame, you know, Roddy Piper and I used to say, <laughs> cause we were painted with the same brush. We hung out, we ran hard and, and I spoke to his children after the fact and, and they kind of laughed about it. They knew about it and what have you. But once I had kids, I started taking a lot of that into consideration and I pulled way back. Um, I deserve the reputation. I earned it. Not necessarily proud of it, but I'm not going to run away from it either. Shit happens, okay? I'm I'm still here able to talk about it. But it's funny, you you know, you talk about drug rehab and shit. I had a conversation with my brother, Tom, not long ago, who actually asked me, says, well, you went to rehab, didn't you? Jesus Christ, even you? No, Tom, I've never been to never been to rehab. Um I, I never got I never got to that point. I never um and, and knock on wood, thank God I was able to to pull myself back. Conrad, you and I have known each other as long as we've known each other, and in since May of last year, how much have you seen me drink and party? I've seen you have one drink since May of last year. There you go. So I, I've changed. I've changed my ways a lot. Okay. Now, I did see puff that Chiva a couple times, but but a couple times, like twice, <laughs> right? <laughs> see, in the old day, in the old days, it, it would have been you know half pound, and I'd still be going, "Got any more?" <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's completely it's it's a different world it's a different time i'm a different person in a different place so i don't regret all the shit i did i had fun doing it and uh to to the haters fuck you uh don't care um and to to stephanie thank you for firing me and it made me be where i am today and be in control of my life probably for the first time that I have ever been in complete control of shit. So to that, I say thank you, and I'm happier than I've ever been. When when people call me uh, from John Layfield to Eric Bischoff to people that have known me for a long time and say, God damn, Bruce, you're the happiest I've ever fucking seen you. You're welcome. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Th- but, hey, and but folks... When I said that, thank you. I'm looking at Conrad. I said, thank you. Because this motherfucker has helped me and, and helped me get to that place. So, you know, fuck them. I'm happy. Next. Um, I, I'm Dick. That's what I do. Hypothetically. Fuck you. Who were the writers you pulled the gun on? <laughs> oh, I don't do I, Seriously, I don't even fucking remember. I don't even remember the fucking names because it was so... I don't, I don't even fucking remember who was on the writing staff at that time. There were so many fucking kids. I didn't know their names. I kid you it, not. Is the big guy was, was he one of them? Um, who like jerked off the thing with Sam Krista Joseph. Was he one of them? DJ was on the, on the team. Uh, fuck what it. about that movie actor who did some shit with y'all? What was his name? Freddie Prince. Yeah. Was he there then? Right. Fred, Freddie was there then. Uh, he had a guy, a friend of his was on the team. Dude, I couldn't tell you their fucking names. There were new guys every week. Was Lagana there? Uh, no, I don't think he was. I think he had already left at that time. You had already pulled the gun on him and ran him out of oh, town. Yeah, I done ran him off. <laughs> I like Dave. Uh, if you had you're, to, you're a fucking dick. If you had it to do over again, would you have pulled the gun on Court Bauer? Tell the truth. Oh, fuck. Shove it right up his ass. (laughs) 
Who else used to fuck with you on this network and say that you were lazy? Was that Greenfield? Or was no. that was that just No, I think it was just Court. Just Court personally fucking you. Yeah, just Court. Just uh, Court personally fucking me. Fuck Court. Okay. Well yeah, fuck like, you, Court. Hey, yeah. Yeah, fuck you, Court. <laughs> worth mentioning guys, we're, guys, we're just we, kidding we, we're just kidding with court okay we love court me and court made up me and court are good man. Every, everybody's good no, no hard feelings nobody pulled no a gun nothing. on lagana or krista oh. joseph or freddie okay. prince <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about you're you're the motherfucker stone you're over there pop another fucking top have dude, another drink dude this was fun for me. I mean, I got to sit here and just watch you pour your guts out. And I didn't have to do any research. I just, you know, told you how lazy you were and you're a yes man. Well, you know what, man? Hey, and, and again, you, shit's out there. Nerves out there. Bullshit's out there. Fuck it. Address it. Move on next. Hopefully we can just go to the next fucking thing to the next time I fuck up and do something stupid because it's probably not that far, far away. You know I'll do something stupid eventually. Fuck. Well, I mean, I who think, knows? Who I knows think, what the fuck I could do? I mean, hell could freeze over. <laughs> you never know. How much shit are we going to get for doing this show? Oh, I don't know. I don't care. Probably mm-hmm. a lot. your hate tweets to at bruce pritchard and we'll be back this friday right here on something to wrestle with i'm fired bruce pritchard brother love i knew you'd come let my family save your family some cash you don't need perfect credit you don't need money out of your pocket but we will save you money. It's not a matter if, it's a matter of how much. Save with Conrad.com.